Okay, so I'm out walking in nature now. Uh, third day of uh, this series, videos. Uh, haven't posted the first day yet, but that'll come someday. The first day will come someday. Today it is Monday. It's a new week, it's a new beginning, it's a new life. And uh, there's a lot of stuff transforming inside. Um, basically, I have been taking a medicine, um, pharmaceutical called Lamotrigine, that works as a mood stabilizer and an anti-epileptic medicine. Um, keeps you from getting epileptic attacks. And uh, I've been doing that for four years. It really helped me when I when I first took it. It was like first time in my life that I felt some degree of peace. First time in my life that people started treating me as if I was a human being. This was my experience. Uh, first time in my life that I really felt like oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel it feels good to be alive, you know, and I was feeling joyful for the first time. Uh, so that was incredible. It was such a beautiful gift. Um, and uh, at some point, I do believe that it stopped working for me and may even have had the reverse effect, right? So now I have been... Uh, um, Taking it for four years, and the last year I've been in so much intense pain, mental pain. It's like there's been this pain behind my eyes, like floods of tears wanting to come out, not coming out, constant sense of disconnection. And I figured, I figured, I figured it might have something to do with the medicine, and I but then I thought as well that, you know, yeah, that pain was there before I started taking it, so removing the medicines might not help. But I also realized that um, I also realized that I get easily distracted. I also, get, I also realized um, that there's something to that and I really wanted to stop taking it and I actually got into uh, I got a new doctor because uh, I was doing quite well I was feeling quite happy um, in uh, was it like February last year so I went to a doctor I wanted to taper it down um, but uh, because I was doing so well, and based on my history of uh, anxiety and depression and things like that, they didn't trust me. This guy didn't trust me, and he thought that I was bipolar. And so he, <laughs> he sent me into the psychiatry ward. Um, he gave me a psychiatry award. He sent me into the psychiatry ward. Um, so I was locked up for like two or three days. Um, because he thought I was doing too well. It was quite traumatic, uh, but I learned a lot, and that, in conjunction with that, I stopped taking another medicine that I was taking too, that was helping me a lot. Um, and I'm not sure if it was a good idea to stop taking it, but that wasn't my choice. Um, see those controlling motherfuckers. Uh, yeah. Shh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the system needs to change. Down with the system. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So. So. Uh, fast forward. Um, I wanted to stop taking it then, but I didn't. And I couldn't. Um, I didn't want to stop taking it by myself without the doctor because. Well, first of all, the doctor knows, you know, the by effects and everything. And it's good to have someone that track of you but that's not the main thing the reason was because I'd already experienced the, the withdrawal effects of this not taking this drug uh, and 
First time I did, I started choking and I had pretty much had epileptic attacks. I was cramping in my body and I was crawling in my skin. This was after two days of me taking it. Um, but that was a pretty huge like shift from taking 200 milligrams per day to no, nothing for two days. But still, that was just enough to deter me from experimenting with not taking that thing. So actually what I did the summer was increase the dose to 300 because I was like, yeah, I gotta, you know, <laughs> maybe I'll feel a little bit better because I was in constant torment and life was constant pain and I was just wanted to die every moment. I just wanted to escape and die. And no matter how much healing I did and health stuff, it just nothing had an effect. It was like below that level. And then what happened was well, I increased the dose. I felt a little bit better for a day or so. Uh, and then it probably got worse. And then uh, two weeks ago or so, I've had, a, I've had amazing, an amazing, you know, two months <laughs> in, in my timeline because um, I've been living at this amazing place and uh, it's been really really challenging for me but I've had to really just face and own all of that pain that I brought that I have with me <laughs> and deal with it and I you know stepping back into the truth of the matter which is how I actually feel and not pretending like I feel in a different way or that I am at a different place than I am because I'm not <laughs> I'm here right now I'm feeling exactly the way that I feel, so there you have it. Um, that said, uh, I've grown a lot, recovered a lot, healed a lot. And uh, a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, I stopped, I lowered the dose from 300 to 200. Um, a few days ago, I lowered the dose from 200 to 100. And these last few days have been really freaking traumatic but like not traumatic they've been really good actually uh, they've been so freaking painful but the pain has been more bearable um, and anyway <laughs> like I have been able to kind of feel more fully I feel and be more connected with my body and and that just amazing um, and so today uh, yesterday actually I was quite suicidal I didn't want to live anymore <laughs> at the end of the day so the choice that I made today doesn't make much sense but it's worth a try because well you would get it if you were in this mind body you would understand the pain but um, but I cannot really describe it to you just say that it's torment um, torture chamber, hell, and you don't want to go through that all the time, it's just not a way to live, so, but anyway, lowering the dose actually also brought me a sense of peace, and uh, so that was, the, that was the whole thing about it, is, yeah, I had to experience really intense things, but it also brought me a sense of like, ah, you know, something shifted, um, and I had a lot of hopes and the pain that I've been experiencing behind my eyes is less than it's been in a year, you know? So I was like, okay, well, maybe there's some truth to this. Maybe it is actually the medicine creating all this pain or maybe the pain is there. The medicine is blocking it so I can't feel it fully and release it. And it's just, it's bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what it hurts more and more and more and more and more every day. So, even though I am doing better and better, because I'm stronger. So, then, today, I haven't been taking any medicine at all. Um, but I woke up feeling better than I have. Wow, ever. I don't know if it's better than I ever have. Probably not, but better than I have in... I don't remember. Right? is after not after taking 100 for about three four days i'm lowering those two from 100 to zero i know it's pretty risky and it could have a lot of by effects but 
uh, I'm willing to go through it. I'm willing to give it a shot. Now, if you want something to change, you've got to change it at a fundamental level. Uh, like, if it's as deep as this. And this could be a reason why I've been feeling the way that I do. But uh, I can gather a lot of support, too, because I really need it in this transition. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully I'll survive and I won't take my life, but I guess you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it feels it feels really good to be alive in, in a way that's different than for a really long time and I'm just really grateful for that. Uh, so yeah, much love and peace. Have a beautiful day. I hope all your dreams come true. And also the dreams that you didn't even know you had that they also come true, the things that you actually want.